back to coding casually and in this video we would be making a dashboard in power bi within maximum 10 minutes this video will be purely for beginners and will get you started on the power bi journey we would not be taking care of data analysis or rather we would not be hopping onto dax even we just wish to prove the fact that you know it's very easy to be on power bi and start your journey so uh, right now you are able to see my screen which has the introductory page of Power BI. It tells you the recent projects that you worked upon. You can simply press the cancel button here. And I have already downloaded the data from WHA website for COVID-19. So I'll go to get data and choose text and CSV because it's the same format that I have the data in. So uh, let me choose uh, the file uh, which is this one. Uh, so the data is quite clean so we would not have to uh, get ourselves engaged in cleaning the data or other work upon the headers we will simply press the load button and the moment data gets loaded you would see that a data set get created on the very right of the screen you'll see that data set uh, that is called WHO and whatever that the whole name was it is, it is taking a little time here yes it is here now we would first go to rename option and write COVID data and press enter and now we will start making the visions the moment we open up the data we'll see uh, we, we see that there is a country one of course we would need that we'll place it here simply drag and drop would work and by the country it's very simple as I said the data is quite clean so you power BI would be able to assume the fact that yes indeed you might be interested in maps view and of course I am and let's set it up here we have country codes we have new cases and new deaths let's uh, pull out new cases let's pull out new deaths so this is not the way that we would really want to see the data we will convert it into cards like this and push in a border in it for both of them and let's set it up on the screen so this is how we can set it up and Let's do a little one like this and of course we are settled up with this one so we already have new cases written new deaths here uh, we can simply change the way it is written by going on to rename for this visual and say new cases and press enter and similarly we can do the same for this as well new deaths or rather only deaths let's go with deaths and for this we would go with cases only I tell you why a little later so now we have cases we have deaths we need to pull out the date uh, because we wouldn't try to filter out on which month or in which month or in which year so we'll pull out this and let's pull out year and let's pull out month and the moment we have this with us we will convert it into the splicer and then push it into a list similarly we would uh, do the same we would hop onto this one go into general change to horizontal go into general and change to horizontal so this is how we would want ourselves to be filtering the data uh, like this and this is how things will work for us let's settle it up on the screen and let's go further again we would need borders to set things up uh, we can go here border we can go here and border so this is how the border works and basically this is how the filtration would work for us let's push in uh, a something something which signifies that we are working on a COVID-19 COVID data let's go to images that we have already downloaded the picture of it uh, and let's do it a little smaller so now of course the image itself states that we're working on a virus but let's write something as well called covid cases data that would work and let's change it to calibri and let's give it a font of 18 and simply move this to here so now we have now it opened of course it signifies that we're working on COVID data, but now even right now the data is not complete yet. So what we can do here is let's push these two a little down and copy and paste the same. And same again. And what we can do is uh, 
and we will try to make them smaller and I'll tell you a reason why because we would want last five days cases as well for us to justify the fact that you know these two these two are different than these two okay and let's do like this let's do like so in order to make sure that we have last five cases or last five days cases what we can do here is we can go into the date reported and we can push it here and then we can go on to advanced filtering uh, rather relative date filtering in the last five days we are interested and we would do the same for this one and push it here okay and yes let's push it here and then we would go into relative date last five days and I believe we don't have the data till last five days let's see whether we have for last 10 days in 2020 we don't have it so that is why it is showcasing the same so let's go with five only and remove this so last five days cases are these and these are the total cases how we can justify the same we can push in a text box state in the fact last five days and then writing cases around the like this give it a little jump up uh, or let's go with 14 and then paste it here and then we can enlarge it till here we can give it a background of something called red um, not this red would work let's go with a little dark one and then for title we don't have any title here we have a text written in it and let's see how we can cater to the text uh, simply go into this and then change the font color okay and simply we can push it a little down copy the same thing all together and then paste it here and I see that this is a little less okay that would work no problem we will align the same till here and this one till here total cases we can have so this is how this thing will work you can also join the fact that would also not be an issue but this is something that we'll get it later and now what we need is we have WHO codes and WHO region as well we can simply push it in here that is fine and by the reasons we would need cases so we can do new cases and we can do new deaths and we can push it till here and we would need to enlarge this and let's see how we can do the same and let's see whether this works this indeed works and let's increase it till 20 and press center even right now it is not good enough let's do 24 and if we would go back this says WHO underscore region so what we can do is again we can go into rename and then reason reason would work and then let's go back I did not press the enter button that is why it did not work so remember you have to press the enter button as well and enter and you would see this you can play around uh, on with the grid as well uh, if you wish to you can also play around with the test like bold headers and flashy rows or something like that if you wish to this is something that might work or might not but I believe it's okay and not change the colors you can change the background color to quite red and then font color is already in white that is fine and then uh, values can also be in a different color altogether let's go with gray and this one with light gray and then the font color can be this one and for this one we would go with these ah this doesn't look nice let's go with these okay and then now see it's not looking nice so either you adjust the visuals with this one which I am willing to do and match it up like this uh, with this we would have a little aesthetic type of dashboard and then we'll take it a little far okay so this is how you can create a simple dashboard uh, with power bi uh, we did not do much simply the filters work for us so that means 
February we would not have data for 2023 of course so that means work well for January of course we have this data so there are many things that you can do but this is how simple it is for you to hop on to power bi and start your journey with creating dashboards if you like the video and think that this creates some value please press the like button also subscribe to the channel so that it motivates us to create more videos next time we will be going a little advanced uh, put pushing in dax queries a little more on dashboards so please stay tuned and have a nice one